Now, many of us are very close to our siblings, but for 17-year-old Shauna Tai, she's closer than most. The teenager dedicates her time outside school to helping care for her younger brother, 14-year-old Daniel. Shauna grew up helping her sibling, and in 2019, she received the Dublin Young Carer of the Year Award. To mark National Carers Week, Family Carers Ireland have launched the Pause for a Cause campaign to raise funding and awareness. And Shauna joins us on the line this morning while Catherine Cox, the Head of Communications and Policy at Family Carers Ireland, joins us in studio. Good morning to you, Catherine. Hi, and Catherine. good morning to you, Shauna. And Daniel is there too. Hi, guys. Good morning, guys. Thank you for joining us today. First of all, Shauna, a very busy week for you and we're all dying to know how you got on with the Leaving Cert. How's it going so far? Um, it's going good so far. It's honestly, it's better than I um, thought it was going to be. <laughs> um, boy, um, I thought it was going to be hard. It's not too bad. Shauna, tell us about that young man beside you, Daniel. Tell us about your brother. Um, so this is Daniel. He's 14 years old and he has um, a rare genetic disorder called Soto syndrome which causes a lot of complex needs, like he is non-verbal, but he, he does communicate in his own way to us and we understand. Um, he has epilepsy and we need to provide 24-7 care for him. Um, so it is very hands-on, but um, he's good. He's always smiling and happy. <laughs> it's obvious to see that you have a very close relationship with one another. There's an awful lot of love there, Shauna. But talk to us about being one of his primary carers, because you're 17 now, and yet you have been responsible, along with your parents, for many years, even though you're so young. Yeah, so there's only three years between us, so I can't really remember life without Daniel. But growing up, I never really like looked at it as in I was a carer for him or that he was any different. It was just kind of that he was my little brother like anybody else and that we just got on as like a brother and sister. And I still don't really think of it as in I'm a carer for him. Like, I just love to spend time with him and it just happens to be that like spending time with him sometimes requires um, to look after him in different ways than normal life. But I still wouldn't look at it as like caring for him. I just love spending time with him. So. And how has it been over the last couple of weeks and months? Because you're obviously, as Laura said, you're in the middle of the leave and search. I mean, you know, you're trying to find time to study as well, but you've you've still got, you know, you got to help Daniel. How have you, how have you found that over the last couple of months? <laughs> Um, he's a little bit cranky today, sorry. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's been it's been a bit up and down. Like um, my family is very supportive and they help as much as they can. But when I'm at home, like Daniel doesn't understand that I have to study for my exams or anything yeah. like that. He just wants to be with me the whole time. And oh, it's not his fault. He doesn't understand. But sometimes it can be hard because. I can't really focus when he's around all the time and I do want to spend time with him, but of course I have to like focus on my studying as well. Yeah. And Shona, do you think that there is um, a wide understanding in our communities and our schools as well that so many people are young carers in this country? Um, do you get that support? I know you do at home, but do you get that support elsewhere? Um, I wouldn't say like as a nation that people would recognise carers and young carers, especially in schools and in life as much as they should. But my school has been uh, very kind to me and my family's very kind. And also Family Carers Ireland have been such a huge help to me and I would be lost without them. They've um, sourced me like a laptop for my leave insert that I could study on and they've sourced me grinds for maths and Irish that I needed and really just have been a huge help to my family the past few years and I get huge support from them. Well, very kind words there, Sean, about Family Carers Ireland. And we're delighted to have Catherine Cox here, who is the Head of Communications for the very same organisation. Um, when you listen to, to, to Sean talking there, Catherine, about how difficult it is for her and for her family, and, you know, she needs help and you're, you guys are, you know, looking to gain funds to be able to help people who, like them? Because there's a lot of people in Ireland doing the same thing that Sean has done. There are, yeah, and she's an amazing young girl, an amazing family. There are 67,000 young carers in this country, which is a huge figure, and over 500,000 family carers in general across the country. And like Shauna said, I suppose the last year in particular, 
has been so difficult mm. for everybody in society, but yeah. I think particularly family carers. Families like Shauna's and Sinead's, they lost day services, mm -hmm. they lost schools, schools shut down, they lost their vital therapies. And as a result, the kids with you know intellectual disability, older people were at home without those vital services. So what we did, Family Carers Ireland, at the very start of the pandemic, we set up a crisis fund. The first thing we did with that money was we started buying PPE, so gloves, hand mm -hmm. sanitizer, and getting it out to family carers across the country because they were not prioritized as an important group. And I think through this uh, COVID, they really have been the forgotten front line. Mm -hmm. So we, it was vital that we were there to support them. So we started sending out PPE for two over 3,000 families. We bought laptops for young carers, like Shauna said, which was great. We also put food on tables, oil and tanks. We bought one mom bite-proof clothing because her daughter was biting her because she was so frustrated because she didn't know why she couldn't go to her day services. Yeah. So, so that's what we've done with that crisis fund money. And that's why it's run out, really, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and so we are appealing, I suppose, to the public and to the corporate sector who have been so supportive to us. Without Irish Life, Tesco, uh, JP McManus, and a really kind donor from Cork, PJ, we couldn't have done all of that. Mm -hmm. But we need to ask again and appeal to the public again. Help us to help family carers like Shauna and her family. You mentioned there um, many carers feel forgotten. We've had the privilege to interview extraordinary people over the years um, on the show. Many carers would voice their concerns and say exactly that. Sometimes they feel invisible and sometimes they feel forgotten. And very poignant words from Shauna there saying that, you know, Daniel's her little brother. Of course she's going to help around the house and help with him because she loves him. But what can we do to help carers? First of all, I, we have to talk about the government and what they can do and what they should do. Because, as I said, carers have been the forgotten frontline during this pandemic. But I think there is an opportunity now for our government to look at how they have treated family carers to step up and put in place proper supports and services for them. And that means that they could access those supports in their community when they need them. Respite, training, hoist if they need it, equipment if they need it. So I think as we come out of this pandemic, the opportunity there mm -hmm. is, is there for the government to do the right thing. And Pause for a Cause campaign, what can people do to get involved this weekend? So look, Pause for a Cause um, is P-A-W-S for your yeah. doggy. Mm -hmm. uh, pause for a Cause. We're asking everybody, mm. the public, kids with their dogs, even if you don't have a dog, bring the cat, we don't care. Get out, <laughs> walk and talking, right? Yeah. So we, we suggested that people would do 24K in seven <clears throat> days to reflect the 24-7 nature of caring. Yeah, Look, we're at the end of Carers Week. We have the whole of this month. Everybody get out walking. Go on to our website, www.familycares.ie. You can donate. You can register for Pause for a Cause. It's only 20 euro. For an extra five euro, a fabulous bandana for your dog. But I would say no amount is too little or too great. Yeah. So please, please help. You will not support a better cause. No, and you're, hel you're helping families like Shauna and Daniel. Shauna, we might just come back to you very quickly. We know you're in the middle of the Leave and Cert. What, what are your plans, Shauna, in terms of yeah, after the Leave and Cert? Are you hoping to go to college or university? Or what's your plan? Yeah, I'm hoping to go to college to study nursing. Ah. Uh, They'd be lucky to have you, Sean. They would be lucky to have you. Lucky to have you. Um, wishing you continuing success over the next couple of weeks. Yeah, best of luck, Sean. Sean, we'll be thinking Thank of you. you and stay in touch with us yourself and Daniel. Let us know how you get on. Thank you. Thanks, Take guys. Care, guys. And thank you, Catherine, for coming in. Thank you so much. And we'll pop details up how people can get involved in the campaign.